You should have seen Megan's face when I told her Elijah was coming to the council meeting today. I totally wish Reyna and Janae could be here. Didn't you say Elijah likes you? How's that gonna work? I'm gonna kiss him right in front of her. That's messed up. I don't think you should do that. It might backfire on you. I don't care. I can't have her thinking she can have my man. She needs to focus on losing weight instead of gawking over Elijah. Then why are you even friends with her if you don't like her? Her mom and my mom are friends. My mom makes me invite her to everything so she doesn't feel left out. It's honestly pathetic. That's cold. But I live for drama and I need a good laugh. Oh, it's her. Well, go open the door. Hi, Megan. I'm so glad you can make it. Oh, Maggie, I wouldn't miss this music council meeting for the world. I've got so many great ideas for the dance this year. Hey, Meg. Hey, you look nice. Thank you. The cheerleaders on the council are coming up with ideas. I thought everyone could give an idea. Well, as council president, I changed that rule. Thought I told you to wear something laid back. This is laid back to me. Hmm, seems a little flashy to me. You can go home and change if you like. I'm okay, I'm not trying to impress anyone anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can sit on the couch since it has enough space for you. Here's some leftover snacks. Maggie Thanks. and I already had some. Thanks, I'm starving. Well, you definitely don't look it, so you're good. What? Nothing. Um, enjoy. Hey, I'm so glad you did it. I just got finished early, so you know, the guys wanted me to come with new ideas for the formal. Yeah, that's no problem. You can sit on, you can sit anywhere. Me and Gio are sitting on these seats. Megan, do you want some more snacks? No thanks. I think I kind of overdid it on the ones I had. You think? You're in my chemistry class, right? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. We're in chemistry and drama class together. That's right. You played F in Dreamgirls, right? Yeah, that was like freshman year. I didn't think anyone would remember that. Yeah, well, I do. Now that we're all here, let's talk about the events leading up to the spring formal. Well, the team thinks we should do a casino before uh, the formal. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> I thought you said only cheerleaders could come up with the ideas. The football team and cheerleaders go hand in hand. What'd you add in mind? Well, I was thinking, in honor of this year's musical, Moulin Rouge, we could do a masquerade. Masquerades are childish. Nobody wants to see the boys at this school dressed up as Phantom of the Opera. I like that idea, Megan. It sounds fun. Well, if you like it, I like it. Okay. I think we should write down all of our ideas and make a list, and then we can vote. Yeah, that sounds like an awesome idea. <laughs> you stay ready. That's awesome. Elijah, can you help me bring in some snacks? Yeah, uh, sure. I see you over here blushing. What are you talking about? Elijah's cute, isn't he? I mean, he's a nice person. Yeah, but you like him, right? I... I, I heard he's only into slim girls on the cheerleading team. Why else do you think he's involved in everything they do? Really? That sucks. Don't worry. You'd have a chance if he lost weight. But I like the way I look. Yeah, but you don't want to see him with someone else, do you? Well, no, but I don't have any control over that. I think you should go in there and tell him how you feel. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. I don't want to embarrass myself. Especially if he's not into plus-size girls. Being yourself is already a plus. Go in there and tell him how you feel. You really think he's interested in me? Yes, now go! How are you doing? Come on, Meg. You got this. 
Come on, you know you loved it. Whoa, what's going on? Leaving so soon, Megan? You're a snake and a bad friend. No need for name calling, Megan. We're not friends. Just because our moms know each other does not make us friends. I'm sorry you had to see that, Megan. I'm not. You know you want me. You're a snake. You know I liked him and you betrayed me. I, I don't want you. Excuse me? That's not what you said at practice. I said I liked you as a friend, nothing more. And then you turned into this big old mean girl. <laughs> I just, I want you. Shut up, Gia. You know you want me, Elijah. Don't play dumb. I'm sorry, I really don't want you. Why wouldn't you want me? I'm cheer captain, I'm president of every club, and my body is hot. Just because you have talent and you're pretty doesn't make you a nice person. You wouldn't know, you're shaped like a jar of pickles. That was real mean. What's the matter with you? She's beautiful, and her body's beautiful. I don't know. You're wrong, and you're real mean. Why'd you do that to her? She trusted you, and you embarrassed her for what? Oh my gosh, Maggie! What now? Uh, Megan went live about what happened at the council meeting. Everyone's calling you mad, Maggie. What? Coaches in the comments saying you're kicked off the cheers of the team and stay the council. What? I don't think you should read the comments. You see, I presented their offer of me being on their cheer team. I told you not to read the comments. I'm ruined. Why didn't you stop her from coming into the kitchen? Stop her? I told her to go in there. That's why you told me to do Plans change, you idiot. You know what? Megan was right about you. You can't just leave me like this. Can and will. When someone betrays you, that is a reflection of their character, not yours. It's a hard pill to swallow to know that the people that you would take a bully for usually are the ones pulling the trigger. Megan used food to overcome her depression after everyone found out that she threw up on Elijah. Maggie lost all of her positions in her clubs, scholarships, and her reputation after Megan's live video destroyed her. Here's what could have happened had Maggie made the right choices in life. Let me ask you something. Did you really need all my help with these snacks? Yeah, I can't carry these by myself, silly. What are you doing? Come on, you know I like you. You're sweet, pretty, funny, talented, and a great dancer. Thank you, Elijah. But you know Megan likes you. I'm not gonna hurt my friend over a boy. She don't gotta know. It can be our little secret. I'd know. Plus, I only like you as a friend, Elijah. Okay. I can respect that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Megan. You want to go out to the movies and out to eat later? I'd love to get to know you better. No, thank you, Elijah. I'm no one's second option. I know my worth. Whatever. All I'm missing out. I'm sure to find someone out there for you. Hey, I just want to let you know I never tried anything with Elijah. I know you like him. So sorry, Megan. It's okay, I know it's not your fault. 
Boys will be boys, right? Dumb and in heat? Sounds about right. <laughs> about to hug. Group hug. I close Party this. time. <laughs> the moral of the story is you're the anti-venom to poisonous friends and family. Never lose sight of yourself and stand on your beliefs. You betray yourself when you believe that having a false friend is better than having an honest enemy. Rid yourself of both kinds of people and protect your peace.